Hello everyone. I don't normally make videos, but I was watching a lot of videos for the Stamp and Scrapbook Expos to kind of see what to expect from different vendors and classes. So I thought I would just do a quick video because I found it helpful viewing them myself. Um, I'm going to talk about the two classes I took first because a lot of videos don't touch on classes very much and I wanted to kind of see if there were any based on the classes I was taking and I didn't find any so two of the classes I took and I did just go Saturday so I just took two classes and then I went shopping most of the rest of the day but uh, I took this Gelatos Go Wild by Petticoat Parlor and you could choose between a jungle slash zoo theme or an ocean slash sea world theme and they were both really cool layouts, but I did choose the zoo one because I have more zoo pictures to scrapbook. Um, so in this class, you get two gelatos that you get to keep. I've got a brown and a green. I think that's what he was giving everyone with the zoo one. I think the ocean got blue and silver. And uh, we basically use the gelatos to color on their wood pieces, which I actually really like these because they're thin wood pieces. And not real thick. I don't like a lot of thick embellishments on my scrapbook pages because it makes my pages stick up and hard to fit more layouts in an album. But basically you just color on these and then you use either a baby wipe or you can use a water brush or something to kind of blend it in. So that was a fun technique. I have actually done these techniques before but I do enjoy class settings so I went and did the class anyway. The paper that comes with this is really pretty and I'll show more of that in my shopping section of the video. You also get all these little laser die cuts from their booth in the kit. So the value of the class kit is actually really good because these dies usually run about $3 to $4 a piece. Um, so, and it came with the tags. The only thing we really did in class though was we used the gelatos with the um, Tim Holtz Ranger texture paste and I think this is the one that had some grit in it. So we did the stenciling with the rocks and we colored the wood pieces. So if you are looking at taking this class, you probably won't do the pages in class. He did tell us that we could trim the cardstock pieces while he was talking if we wanted to and I did do that but I may lay my pages out different than the pictures actually show which you know is not a big deal to me so I don't mind having to assemble the kit later but if you're wanting to assemble something in class you probably won't finish that with this class. Um, you do get to keep a few stencils, so I got a tiger, we got to keep the one we used for the rock, which I believe is probably a giraffe print, but it works great for a rock too, just shows how versatile they can be, and a zebra print stencil. So between some of the stencils and the gelatos and the laser dies that you get, um, it's a great class value, and you even get a coupon for 10% off in their booth. I think you just use your class ticket to redeem that. The other class I took was the Heartfelt Creations Merry and Bright Christmas cards. And anytime I attend an expo, I always take a Heartfelt Creations class because the cards that you leave with are just beautiful. You do get a coupon in your kit that I cut out here that you get a free stamp set from their booth. It's a $20 value. So again, another good value for the class cost because you're actually getting about that much in pro product too. Um, they also gave you one of their six pack of their triangular daubers that you use during class and you actually get to keep that as well. So again, great value for the cost. I do have to finish these cards up. As you can see here, there's some little blue prills and things that, you know, go in the middle of the flowers or, you know, other places. So these are the cards. They look just like the pictures for the most part, except for, you know, when you're doing your own shading and coloring, they can come out a little different. but. This one ended up being a little shaker card, so there's glitter in there. I don't know if you can really see that, but great class, and I love leaving with completed projects from Heartfelt Creations. So Now when I did go shopping, I had already compiled a list based on videos that I had seen already and um, just things I knew I wanted to buy. So one of the stops I made was out the eyelet outlet, and I don't use brads that much. I really wish I used them more than I do and after buying all these I am hoping to actually get into using them a little bit more. But they've got the new Harry Potter with the glasses, the scarves and the wands, and the witch hats with lightning bolts. So those are good and I bought some ones like tools, like these are some tool ones. I got some movies, 
Some of them were only half price, like these lollipops, the dragons, the skulls. So I got those, and then I got some tools and things to do some masculine cards with because I always need masculine birthday cards or Father's Day cards, and I never have masculine stuff. So um, these are just some of the other ones, the eagles. I got zoo animals, silverware. They did have a little bin where you could pick out some dollar items, and this is just a little baggie of some mixed brads. And then I got two ribbons. I have the Queen & Company Candyland Shaker Card Kit, so... These ribbons will look cute on those cards whenever I put that kit together. Most of their washi tape was $2, but some of the newer ones were $4. Um, the tool one is new, so it was $4, but I think these other two were only $2, the silverware and the tickets. Um, I like to get some silverware and food-related stuff sometimes for food pages when I'm traveling, so that's why I got those. Now, I did go to the Echo Park booth, and I just got this one item because... I actually buy a lot of Echo Park as soon as their new releases come out. If it's something I want, I buy it. So when it comes to going to an expo like this, I already have most of the products by the time I get there. But I still manage to buy a lot of stuff in general. Um, they did have four for $20 paper packs. They had five for $10 6 by 6 paper pads, $10 dies, uh, $5 stamp sets, they did have uh, their sticker sheets were a dollar, and they had the ephemera and things for their different kits, but I don't know how much of those were because I didn't really look at them a whole lot. So I did get this one stamp set for $5. It matches the Under the Sea paper pack that they released last year that I love, and I even own two of it already. So I don't believe I bought this stamp set. I'm hoping I haven't already, but these normally retail for, I think, $13.99, sometimes up to $15.99, and this was $5, so I went ahead and got it. This is the stamp set that I got for my free one from the Heartfelt Creations booth. It's a Christmas stamp set. Um, a lot of their stuff coordinates together. They have the stamp, the dies, the paper, etc. And it's really kind of nice when you just buy a whole set of something and you have everything you need to complete things. And since I don't have a whole set and I didn't really want to buy a lot in that booth this time around, um, I did spend a lot of money in their booth last time around, um, a couple years ago. Um, I did just go ahead and get my free stamp set from that one. I went to a booth called Do Lily, I think is how it's pronounced, and I got some dies. They have a lot of die cuts. I mean, almost anything you could want. I just got this handful because I didn't have a lot of time when I was there. I was meeting some friends, so I got the little lifesaver borders for my cruise pictures, a pirate ship for my upcoming pirate layouts I need to do, the Hogwarts Express. So I did get a couple of those. I did go back with a friend later and almost bought a bunch more stuff, but I do have a silhouette and can cut a lot of stuff out on my own, so it's sometimes hard for me to justify buying a lot of die cuts, but I still end up buying a lot anyway. Uh, I went with a friend to a booth called The Treasure Box, and they sell page kits. Um, this is a two layout page kit. They also have a club where you can get a six layout kit every month or something. I did not sign up for the club because I am moving to Florida in a couple of weeks and I'm not going to have a permanent address right away. So I don't always buy page kits because I have so much loose scrapbooking stuff like paper and stickers and things to use up as it is. So it's hard for me sometimes to justify buying a kit because I can make my own stuff. But I liked these two cruise ones because they had the big cruise ships on them and that is something that I probably would not do on my own. So. I went ahead and got those. They were $11.99 each. I think if you bought a bunch more, you could get them for a little bit less, but I just bought the two. I went to a booth called Scrap That, I think is what it's called. And I only went to this booth basically to get this paper kit because I watched another video and this is a brand new Halloween kit and somebody said that they got theirs there and that they had it. So that's why I went to this booth. They had a lot of simple stories though. So if you like simple stories, which I also like, but again, I own all the other lines that they have that I like. They have the cruise in line, which is really pretty, and I have that. But uh, if you want simple stories, that's a great booth to go to. I think it's the only booth I really saw that had a lot of simple stories. Each booth seemed to specialize in different brands, so they all weren't carrying the exact same things. And then they had a rack of stickers and stuff for it was three for five dollars. So I just got these three things here. That's what I got at that booth. The very first booth I went to was Queen & Company. 
And if you are going to go, I suggest, you know, getting there around 8 o'clock, even though you have to wait in line for an hour. But the vendors come through and show you their door busters and different products that they offer and things like that. So, um, I wanted to get this beach chair cell phone holder. So, the first 50 people that spent $25 got that. So, I got that. And my philosophy is if you plan on going to the booth anyway and spending money, you might as well go during a time where you can get free items. It is a madhouse. Of course, as soon as they open the show doors at 9 o'clock, everybody just swarms to these booths. But Queen & Company is another company that I buy very regularly, and I have almost everything that they have in general. But everything that I want from them, I already own. I own every one of their kits, the shaker card kits. Now these ones are newer ones, they're creative kits where everything you need for four cards is in them. I think there's about eight different ones and I already have some of them, but I did go ahead and get a couple of them that I don't have yet. And there's a few more that I want that have been out of stock for a while, so they didn't have those either. I got some teal diamonds, um, a lot of the diamonds I already have, are, there's a darker blue, I didn't have teal, so I went ahead and got that. Now that they sell those individually, they never used to. And then I did get two topping sets. The Jelly Gems I actually did not have yet. And there's still one or two other topping sets I don't have. Um, and then this is Pops 3. I have their original Pops that are styrofoam balls. But these are more like a beaded ball. So they're a little less staticky, but by the looks of things in the container, there's still a little bit of static. A dryer sheet will help with that, though. So that's what I got from Queen & Company. Um, Paper Wizard is another uh, booth that I went to immediately. They were doing... A thing where the first 50 people that came to their booth and got their golden showstopper coupon could get a free show die cut for uh, free. So I got this one for free. I bought a page kit. I don't normally buy page kits again. And these are $30, so they're kind of pricey. But considering most of their dies are $9 regularly, you get, you know, quite a few dies in this kit. I do like that they're not pre-assembled because I can lay things out how I want to, which I really like in case this doesn't fit my pictures. And then one of their door busters was this, if you bought three dies, you would get one free. I keep calling them dies or die cuts, I guess. But I got the Spellbound for Harry Potter. I do have Harry Potter pictures to do if you can't tell. Hogwarts Express. Um, the Universal and a pirate chest. So I got those from Paper Wizard and that's another one of those booths that I really could spend a lot of money in but they are just a little pricey so it's a little hard to spend so much in one booth. Now if we're going to Pentecote Parlors class you get the 10% off of stuff at their booth so I wanted to see the paper because I was really in love with the paper that came in the kits. It's just hard to explain, but it's got a nice texture to it, but it, it's very um, heavy weight compared to some paper. It's, it's nice. It's a good quality. And some of it is double sided. I got the zoo borders even though it came in my kit because I may want to use it for other pages. I got the zoo cut aparts. The ocean borders, which are gorgeous. Again, it was a toss-up as to which kit to really pick. But I was lucky enough to be able to go get the paper at the booth. So I got cat borders. I have cats, so I have pictures to scrapbook if I ever get to them. I got a piece of manatee, since I'll be in Florida. I got the ocean cut of hearts. And I got state park collage kind of looking paper which is kind of neat I got the cruise borders I got two of those so I could use them they've got seashells on the back but I'm just gonna probably use the borders and then the cut aparts I think all the cut aparts oh these do have something on the other side but I think some of them are blank on the back and I got cats I got two of these by mistake and they are blank on the back I meant to just get one but now I've got two so there's that I did get a stencil because I like this one. I like the waves and the lighthouse and things, and I do like the technique of using the texture paste to do those. And they also have die cuts for almost anything that you could possibly think of. Again, this is another place that I could have bought way more than I did. I like these firework dies. I got those in the different color patterns that they had them in. I got three of them. We got some Harry Potter dies, Pirates, Key West Space Museum. 
Revenge of the Mummy Ride from Universal. Mammoth Cave National Park. I went there and it's hard to find scrapbooking stuff for it. The Harry Potter Wands. And the London Hogwarts ticket for when you ride the Hogwarts Express. And I went to Photo Play. They were doing the same thing as Echo Park where they had four paper packs for $20. I own everything photo play that I could ever want as well. As I said, I do buy a lot of scrapbook stuff. Um, I did find some that I don't have that since they were only five bucks, I went ahead and got them. I like this dinosaur one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I like to buy dinosaur scrapbooking stuff for some reason. I got this dad one because it's got masculine papers that I can use to make cards for masculine birthdays or um, Father's Day. I got this O Canada Christmas because I got the regular O Canada pack a while back from my Alaska trip where we did go to Vancouver. And this actually doesn't have a ton of Canada related stuff. So I went ahead and got it because as you can see, I mean there's a little bit, but you can really use these papers for Christmas cards or um, pages. There are some Canada icons and things, but overall. I think I'll be able to use a good bit of that. This is the only one that I bought that I already own and uh, I just really love it. And I love the little cat scratcher paper and stuff like that. So I did good only buying one that I already had because I thought about buying multiples of the ones I already had, but I decided not to. If you spend $30, you got a free stamp set or this specific Echo, I'm sorry, not Echo Park, but um, Expo paper pack that they made just for these expos so if you did cropping or classes or even a scrapbook retreat with any friends or anything this is a great paper pack for that so it's got some cute stuff and then on the wall they have 350 um, mini kits and then they have this card kit so I got this Christmas card kit for three dollars and fifty cents one of the things I was most excited about buying at this expo was this Harry Potter stamp set. These stamp sets by the Color Play line of Photo Play, I have not been able to find anywhere online, any website, including their own. Um, I think they may have started just making them for the shows because Photo Play is now part of the expo exhibitor list. Um, so I got the dies and the stamps for that. And then they had a $3 stamp bin, so I got this Arizona stamp set because my husband's family is in Arizona, so we do go there sometimes. And then the last little bit of stuff I got was from Crazy Creations. Their door buster was if you visited their booth between 9 and 11 a.m., you actually got five free outline stickers when you spent $25. So... I did get a few card kits. I went back to this booth a second time. So the first time I got this Christmas card kit, and I'm glad I got it because it was gone the second time, but these come with everything that you need. They're $13.49 a piece, or if you buy three or more, they're $12 each. So I, when I went back, I got these three. So I got a masculine one because, again, trying to do better with having masculine stuff. I did buy some more of the glitter paper. It is easier to use this paper. It's more expensive probably than glittering it yourself, but I've done both ways and this way is definitely easier. And then some of these were free outline stickers and some I bought. So there's gingerbreads, happy birthday, hot air balloons, tools, which I ended up with two of these. I only meant to get one, but that's what happens when you go back the second time and you forgot what you bought. Some flowers, because these would make good card fronts, I think lighthouses, holiday lights. I did buy two of those on purpose and butterflies. So that is everything that I got at the expo. As you can see, it's quite a bit of stuff, but that's what we go for, right? So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's a little helpful for you. And I hope if you go to an expo, you have a great time. Bye.